Hey guys, so my name's Annabelle and I have a super awesome day planned. Today I am going to see my friend Gabriella's tiny house and she also is doing incredible things and trying to start or starting a tiny house sustainable community. And so I want to get all the information that I can to you guys and show you her awesome house. She's also documenting it. Um, on YouTube so you'll be able to check that out super excited I'm about to leave in about like 10 minutes oh my god isn't it awesome where's your loft is it over here yeah right here are you gonna build that soon I've been debating building it after um why don't you want to sleep out here? Yeah, I know. The sooner the better. Yeah, I think I'll probably put like some like extra supports in to have them coming out. When I designed it, I had in mind that I would build it in afterwards. But hmm. yeah. It's you were fun. saying you have like no light. You have a lot of light, dude. What do you mean? Coming in? You have this is your door. Wait. This is the door. This is going to be a bump out. Like um What's a bump out? So basically, there's just going to be like a little extra space so that I can have more room in the bathroom. So basically. Oh, instead of having a shed, you're going to have like a toilet. Um, what, what do you mean instead of a shed? You know how like I, so you're putting it right here, right? So that actually the, so this is going to come off and have a sill. And then that bump out will come out a little bit. Um, and then this area. I'll store like my clothes in here, and then there will be like a mirror, so it's kind of like a sink area, but I won't have a sink, because I'll just I use understand. the shower to like brush my teeth and everything. But the toilet will be here, the shower will be here, and this will be the wall. Um, and so that you have like a good amount of space, and then you could just do some stuff like... So there's no window there? No, there won't be You could be a, put a window there. Yeah, I could actually, because of the bump out. It would work. And then on the outside, on the left and right, we'll have storage um, for batteries for solar. That's awesome. Yeah. Is this your kitchen? Yeah. So kitchen, counter. Um, kitchen, counter. Kitchen, counter. And then if I decide to have a fridge. If you. Here. Oh, right. Yeah. If, if you're not fruitarian. If I'm not fruitarian. Yeah. But I might just have like a mini freezer for fruit and stuff. Sick. Such. Yeah, for smoothies and stuff, and maybe okay. like a little chest for whatever I need to save my leftovers. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna have my piano desk here. So okay, like, and that's a big window. It's a huge window. And then another window up there. Yeah. Okay. So all these open except for these two. Those these two. These don't. Okay. Um, and I got all my windows at Habitat for Humanity, and all these windows um, and the door included were. $255. What? Yeah, super cheap to get them there. Yeah, and one, and, um, this woman, I believe her name was Karen at Habitat for Humanity. She gave me a window for free as a housewarming gift, which was super sweet of her. That's awesome. Was that in, where was that? So I went to a couple places. I went to Habitat for Humanity in Poughkeepsie. New Rochelle, sure. and uh, <laughs> all south of me, Woodstock of course. area, yeah, Woodstock. which okay. is near Kingston, not far from you. Anything south seems far. Yeah, I could bring one up, I could pick out a window for you. <laughs> That's okay, mine is windowed out. Yeah, and so, yeah, lots will be here, Okay. And, like, in between these two windows, and this will be my chill space. Your chill um, space? Yeah, so I'll probably, like... Like, just like that. Just like that. Because it's like super nice to have the window. And like, yeah. I feel like these two windows I put here to have like, um. I like love that. Looking out really well. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, it, they're really close together. So it looks like there's not really much of a wall yeah. in between them. On the outside, I'll, I'm going to have a platform. <gasps> that like pulled down. So to project that, that window too. Um, well, so it's pulled this way. So it doesn't matter right wind. that's why i might not put a window sure for the bump out um but the platform will lay out and i'm gonna have like either wood 
So I plan to incorporate a lot of driftwood into it yeah. that I collected over the years. Like have like wooden pegs on the outside so I can climb up to it and stargaze up there. Up there. It'll be, yeah, on the outside uh, of the house. Okay. And it'll kind of be like a bridge uh, on a moat, like how they just like lower mm. down. Yeah. And then I could just hook it up for travel. And yeah. like I said, Metal roof. Metal roof. Okay. Um, wood siding. Wood siding. Do the shashugi ban method for burning wood. Which is? Um, it's like a Japanese method of preserving wood. So you burn it on the all sides and then uh, it protects it from water, insects, and it actually makes it fire retardant because it's already somewhat burnt. So it's That's hard super to catch. sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, they've been doing that for years in Japan. It makes it look really cool because it's all black and you get mm -hmm. the grain poking out. Yeah. Yeah. And like, what are you doing on the inside? Good question. So I want to do um, plywood sheets for the walls and have like somewhat of the grain showing through with like a whitewash. Um, Everywhere? Yeah, pretty much, except for this wall, I want to be totally dedicated to driftwood. Okay. Like, just piecing all the stuff I've collected over the years and have it like jut out of okay. the wall a bit. In, the, in your loft space as well. Yeah, I hope to have it up there as well. Yeah, and then in the loft I'll have possibly storage because it's going to be, um, the ladder's gonna be attached to the wall here. Okay. Right? Basically, I'm just going to climb up through a hole and come out on top. So it'll be like a box platform that I can just Sweet. storage into. A hole and then like, is it open your loft or no? Is it closed? I'm going to have it open. Yeah. So like no wall. Right. Yeah. You can imagine. And it's going to come out to this one. It'll okay. Across. So it's like how many feet? Um, I think like around eight feet. Eight feet? Eight feet. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Like, That's sweet. Yeah, the door I got for free on the side of the road, um, which is <laughs> awesome. And it has like nine little windows in it to let in a lot of light. Okay. It's like over there if you want to look at it. It's in like that. over there. We'll go find it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, in the garage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and what about insulation? You insulated the floor? Yep. Insulated okay. it with rigid foam boards. And I actually have a guy coming out to, on Tuesday to. Yeah. Uh, estimated for um, spray foam insulation. Sick. To do the roof because my roof won't have venting. Right. So it's best to use the closed cell insulation. Yeah. yeah. And I wouldn't know anything about that. Yeah. Wanna come in? <laughs> Yo. You wanna come in too? I kind of want to. I don't know if you ever seen. There's this. You wanna come in too, buddy? It's wow. their future home. Yeah. This is their future. home. You're gonna love it. <laughs> I plan on having my desk hook onto the wall. Yeah. And so it's a desk that comes over my keyboard. And so what I want to have is them, the desk attached to these metal strips that lower and raise. Okay. I've seen it on another tiny house that used it for their loft. Okay. So basically the bed goes up and down rather than oh, that's kind of sick. Climb in. So I want to do that so that I can have it go up. Put the dogs on. <laughs> like a little elevator. Oh my God. <laughs> and like, I would have like little, um, kind of like a crib status, like a shield that would go up. Sure. So they wouldn't jump out. But yeah, it would be really funny. Just like send them up, they'll jump in, and then I'll throw them up. Because I don't want awesome. to do stairs because it just takes up too much space. Yeah. Yeah. Where are we headed? Right now? Mm -hmm. Once the tiny house is done or? Like right now. <laughs> uh, potentially to a future property <laughs> for a sustainable community. <laughs> Yay! That I'm looking to buy soon, yeah. Where? Uh, so I'm in Dutchess County, New York. And so it's like five minutes away from here. Okay.
Okay, how many acres? A hundred acres. Yeah. Forty-five to fifty of them you can see. Yeah. And then the fifty other are in the woods. Cool. Yeah, and so um, there's a really beautiful lake over here too. A lake? Or like a pond, sorry, not a lake. Okay. There's like these two little structures that I already have ideas for. Those two little ones in the background that you can see? Yeah. Okay. So with this project, I'm looking to buy this property and turn it into a sustainable community slash um, like animal sanctuary to rescue animals like farm animals. Mm -hmm. And so I want to uh, develop the land to cater to the humans and animals and bring the surrounding community in to learn more about mm. veganism and also community living just yeah. together in general, how beneficial it can be. And how soon are you looking to do this? I'm raising funds right now to buy it as soon as possible. And how can people support this? That's a great question. I'm currently working on my website and going to get a donation button up. Um, or I can link my PayPal, PayPal account down. Sick. If people want to donate, yeah. Is there like a spring on here? Oh, um, Property? I think there is one in the woods. A spring in the, like a seasonal spring? Yeah, it's, I don't think it's big. He, I didn't see it yet. He told me about it, the okay. realtor, so I have yet to see it. But potentially we can see that today. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of wildlife that lives here too, and I hope to keep that. that too. Mm -hmm. Visitor center for the Yakima Sanctuary, so when people come on the weekends, they sign in get a ticket yeah and um there'll be like a little space to shop and buy stuff okay how can people become part of the community um a part of a sustainable community or yeah community? so like say there's there's people that are like i i want to go do that i want to live here yeah so once my website's developed they can like apply to become a part of the um, community there will only be a certain amount uh, allowed on property, uh -huh. uh, I believe because of zoning, so a certain amount of houses. And so what I'm looking is for people who can build their own houses and bring them on property. And I probably will do some natural builds here, mm. but that might be more so for the people who live on property, but apply on the website. So Okay. I and like, try. what are you looking for? So I'm looking for um, people who are willing to work together to create this little community to benefit one another if you have any special skills such as gardening, carpentry, um, you know, if you teach yoga or have anything you do to offer to the community, that would be great to um, put in your application. And just someone, yeah, who lives like a minimalist lifestyle, uh, vegan friendly is preferred, <laughs> but because um, we will have animals on property, but it's not, maybe not necessary. I still have to figure a lot of stuff out. but. Yeah, might might have more information on the website once uh, cool. it's up. <laughs> the the what's gonna be used in the summertime? Uh, this building. I'm Which is going to redesign it a little bit, but hopefully it will be the visitor center for the sanctuary portion of the property. done uh yeah we took a good tour of it yeah yeah what else do they need to know you, your youtube check out my youtube channel gabriella goes green you can also find me on facebook and instagram under that name and my website will be under that name as well very soon awesome socks <laughs> yeah okay definitely <laughs> well yeah that's that's all adios bye bye Peace out.